Lotus Chow, Chief Reporter of Singtao Daily, New York City. Singtao newspaper uh, headquarters is in Hong Kong. Uh, United States, we have uh, uh, the East Coast, the biggest office is in New York City, and we have a uh, uh, little smaller office like Washington, D.C., and we have Chicago office at San Francisco and L.A. The video, of course, is Chinese. The outside people look at Chinese, it's just like a whole group of Chinese, but inside in the Chinese community actually is uh, divided by a lot of uh, uh, people come from different areas, like Taiwanese Chinese, mainland China Chinese, Hong Kong Chinese, Malaysia Chinese, Vietnam Chinese. So the language they speak, the culture, uh, where they come from is totally different. So, so that's why, you know, inside the Chinese community, we have different association, different group, or even different political uh, uh, group link with the uh, uh, place that they come from, or even in the United States. I think one of uh, the Chinese, as far as I know, they really, really care about education. That's why they all you know, move to here. So that's why when the mayor uh, and the chancellor said eliminate the SHSAT. I never see so many Chinese come to rally against, you know, so many rally against this idea. So I think education is one of the things that Chinese uh, nationally is very uh, care about education. The second thing I think is, I think is healthcare also, because a lot of uh, undocumented, maybe they really care about the healthcare issue also. I think the Chinese is more and more um, care about politics. Uh, for example, just like the city, the SHSAT, the mayor, the chancellor, you know, make the Chinese uh, involved about politics. This, um, because Boomba just dropped out, a lot of Chinese are very disappointed actually. Around me, I think most of 99% that people I know, they support Boomba. Yeah, but now he dropped out, so a lot of people are really disappointed. People pay attention to Joe Biden, but I don't think it's as much as Bloomberg and Trump. People don't like Trump is because people think that he's crazy, yeah, and then very extreme. But people admire him. I think Trump is a very tough guy. So, uh, for example, about the China, U.S. and China trade, um, a lot of people hate him because it make all the um, product, you know, price price up. But at the same time, China uh, claimed themselves is a developing country for a long, long time. But actually, now it's not that developing. It's developed already. So, but they still always pay like a victim in the. In, in the world. So Trump don't let them paint like a victim in the world. So it, and he's very tough on this. So some Chinese is support, you know, the way that he, he, he do in the US-China uh, trade war. Some Chinese, if the issue is uh, good for the community, then they will for the, that person, it doesn't really matter they're Democrat or Republican. Mm -hmm. So the issue is more important than the party. So once that, uh, I think Joe Biden have a, a Asian group of people, he will outreach to the Chinese community or Asian community, then they start to you know have voice and then talk about the candidate, their idea, then we are going to cover it. Mm -hmm.